Hey guys, it's been an absolute eternity since I filmed one of these videos. I actually checked back on my videos and it was like something like July 2014 since I filmed a last favourite videos which seems kind of crazy. I don't know why I stopped filming them. I guess I don't buy as many things now as I used to which would make sense why I would stop doing them but I figured seeing as I didn't have anything else to film lately that I would do a monthly favourites. So the first thing that I've got here is very much a luxury purchase. It was my birthday this month and Mikey actually bought this for me, best boyfriend ever. It is from Joe Malone and we got to go to the Joe Malone store in Cardiff which is like the super super shiny white pristine store and in walks me with like all of my black and they probably thought oh dear god. They were really nice in there. I've been in there a couple of times before, but this is the first time I've actually bought anything. Um, they always let you try out the different scents and things, and they don't treat you like you're beneath them, like some other stores I can think of. There are a lot of designer stores, and especially some designer makeup counters. Um, I tend not to buy them anymore, but there are certain makeup counters, you guys probably know the specific ones, and you walk up to them and they will treat you like crap and not expect you to buy anything. So yeah, this isn't the case, they're really really nice, especially in the Cardiff store. And this is what Mikey bought for me. It does come all nicely wrapped up. There's a bow on here, it was done better. <laughs> I can't really do bows and make them look pretty. But yeah, it came in a lovely box with some tissue. The tissue was then sprayed with another cologne. I don't know what it was, but it smelled really nice. I wish I'd been paying attention and seen actually what it was, because it smelled amazing. So this is what he got me. He got me the large pomegranate noir cologne, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm really not good at describing scents at all, so I'm going to look on my phone and just describe it to you because I don't think I can do it any justice with the words that I'm going to throw at you. So it says on here, it is the sensuality of a daring red dress. Ruby rich juices of pomegranate, raspberry and plum are spiked with pink pepper and laced with Casablanca lily and spicy woods. And then it's just got notes down as dark and enigmatic, which I think that's why I like it. I've noticed a lot of fragrances that I buy now kind of smell like something that a vampire would wear. Um, they should just invent a category for like vampire fragrances and I'd buy them all. It's sweet and spicy at the same time, but it does definitely have that kind of thing that makes it smell a little bit darker. Kind of like the candles I tend to go for as well. Um, it is a little bit musky and I tend to hate anything with musk in, but this really, really does it for me. And it lasts on the skin a really long time as well. And um, you don't necessarily have to be a woman to wear this. It is a cologne, so they're unisex as are all the other fragrances that Jo Malone do, I believe. So I would definitely urge you guys to smell this if you can because it's amazing. The next thing on my list is something that I've had since I think September time, so I've had it a really long time, but obviously because I haven't filmed one of these videos for a really long time, um, I would have showed it to you sooner, but it is this, which is Kat Von D's Everlasting Lipstick in Witches. I did do the Kat Von D's one product only challenge, which I'll link below if you guys want to see all the different things that this amazing product can do. It's not what I've got on my lips today, this is actually Kat Von D's lipstick in Slayer, just an ordinary lipstick. Um, but I definitely prefer this one. It lasts a really long time, it dries matte, and it looks super duper pretty. And you go out and you can drink and eat things and it doesn't come off, it's so good. The next thing I picked up was from my all-time favourite cosmetics store, Cute Cosmetics. They now stock Lunatic Cosmetics Labs products and they sell loads of things that are just perfect for people like me and you who like weird alternative things. Um, although this is slightly different because it is a neutral palette but I thought it would be really good for work um, because obviously I can't really go to work like this because I work in a hotel and I might scare the guests although it's a haunted hotel so I feel like they should deal with that and just turn it into a creepy ass mansion and scare people and it's scary anyway so they should let me come to work with this. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. This is the palette. It's in this awesome coffin shaped packaging. It's made of like a really sturdy cardboard. It's very thick. And these are the shades. Oh, check out the mirror. It should look about how awesome is that? Oh, I made a room. Uh, the colors that I use the most in this are probably the, um, this isn't quite a white. It does have a slight pinky color to it. Although my camera is just showing it up as white and I use the darkest colour on my brows. Um, this red one in the middle I use quite often, it's more like a burn burgundy kind of shade. Um, and 
I use this one as well, but I tend not to use this one so often just because it's kind of shimmery and it's very pale. But all of the other ones I use, there are three mattes, which are these three, and these two are the shimmers. I love this one so much. So the shades in here are Invocation, Myth, Spook, Reincarnation, and Google Light. This is a really, really good blending colour. I think that's what I've been using it for mostly. And um, as a base on my lids, which I've got on today, it's the lighter colour here. Um, the other colours that I've got on are Sugar Pill products. But these are really, really good. And I'm thinking of getting one of the other palettes. They have some with some really, really bright neon colours. Um, blues and oranges, which you can't really find that easily in a lot of places. So I would definitely recommend this company to anybody. Okay, so my fourth product is hair care. I don't usually show any hair care because I don't, I'm not good at hair. Hair is just something that I cannot do. I've tried different products and there are very few things that seem to actually work with my hair because it's a nightmare. But this is a conditioner that I've been using now for a couple of months and it's really, really good. It's the Burt's Bees Very Volumizing Conditioner with Pomegranate. First of all, this thing smells insane. It smells like sweets, but I can't put my finger on exactly which sweets it smells like, but it definitely smells like something from like a penny mix. Um, not sure which ones, but it smells super, super good and it is cruelty free. It is so hard to find cruelty free shampoos and conditioners unless you go to Lush and they've recently put my favorite conditioner up in price by quite a lot, so. Uh, I felt like trying something different. I got this in TK Maxx for £6 and I have since been online to try and find somewhere else I can buy it and unfortunately it's £11 uh, for a bottle but it's really good so I'll probably repurchase it. My hair's a total nightmare kind of because you know I dye it all the time. I don't bleach it all that often but I dye it, my hair is flat, it doesn't really do anything at all and um, I have a motorbike so I get helmet hair all the time and then the ends get all scraggly and horrible because of the wind and you know on my motorbike but this has been really sorting out lately my hair actually does things when I wash it um, it doesn't look great today because I haven't had a shower for like two days but usually when I use this the next couple of days my hair is all like fluffy and it feels really soft and it actually does things it holds a nice shape and it doesn't look a friggin mess all the time so this is a really, really great product. It's also 98.8% natural, which is wonderful. And my last product, which is equally as exciting, if not more so than the other products, is this. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Mystifying Mattifying High Definition Micro Finish Press Powder. Let me take a breath. <sighs> this is the product that I mentioned earlier on. It's really, really amazing. And check out this packaging. It's made of really thick cardboard like the other packaging is, so it doesn't feel like it's going to bend or break easily. It has this small round mirror on the front, which is really handy for applying makeup if you're on the go. I do actually put this in my handbag. I know it looks a little bit bulky, but it feels like it's not going to pop open in my handbag. I'm not going to get powder everywhere, so I do carry it around with me. The powder itself, it does look very white, but it is translucent. If you pack loads of it on, you can get like a slight um pale finish but i don't put too much on it's super super fine and it's really really great especially now that it's starting to warm up i don't know why i'm looking out the window when i say that because it's pissing it down but as the weather starts to warm up my skin does get kind of greasy especially with the job that i do now um, i'm working in a hotel and for some reason it's always like a thousand degrees in there so it's really really hot and the last thing i want is for my makeup to look like it's running down my face so by using this, I can have like a nice, smooth, matte looking face and it kind of makes my face look like it is HD. I know that sounds weird. It is called high definition powder, but it really does make a difference. A lot of the times when I see people using translucent powder, I used to think, you know, what's the point? Uh, the other translucent powder I have, it is actually a little bit darker than my skin. So I don't like wearing it because it makes me look orange, but I feel like this one is a really, really perfect translucent shade. And you can also use it for blending out your eyeshadow because there's no colour. It's really, really good for that too. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I also bought this on Cute Cosmetics. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really friggin' like their products. You can get loads of things that only usually you can find in America or things that are just really expensive over here like Sugar Pill. They've got loads of Sugar Pill eyeshadows and I do spend quite a lot of money on that. <laughs> This will more than likely be my last video for a while because the season's starting to pick up. I live in a tourist town, so things are kind of busy at the moment. 
I'm currently the only person that does my job where I work, so I'm doing double the hours that I was before, and I start a new job at the end of this month as well, so I will have two jobs. I'm going to be super duper busy, but at least I'll have money to buy things and make videos and I can be a little bit more creative. Uh, hopefully I will actually get enough time off to film things. So I hope you guys have an awesome spring, just in case I disappear off the face of the planet until, I don't know, October. Have a lovely spring, have a lovely summer, and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye!